Hey, I'm Jasmine from Motomob. I'm here with Heather Sanders and we're talking about her online boutique, Sorella. So if you're thinking of starting your own online business, you're gonna wanna hear what she has to say. So what made you decide to start your own business in the first place? Um, getting into fashion was somewhat forced on me, just being that I was around a lot of fashionable people. Um, same with starting my own business, it just rubbed off on me. Um, everybody who I was around were young and rich and entrepreneurs and had everything on their own, so it was important to me to have something of my own. I didn't just want to follow my boyfriend around, I traveled with him for like a year and I just didn't want to be a freeloader, I just didn't want to be that girl. He brought me along with him. Um, ever since I moved to LA brought me along with them and I just soaked up as much game as I could along the way and then I just went for it. So what was the challenge you faced when you first starting out that you didn't expect? Having an online business is crazy but the biggest that I would say that I'm facing that I faced in the beginning and that I'm still facing till this day is shipping. Oh. It's like crazy like if it's not one thing it's another with shipping and it's just like it never ends I'm still dealing with shipping problems like right now <laughs> like I don't even talk about it because it just gives me a headache um, but the other one would have to be listening to my client and just taking their constructive criticism instead of getting so defensive when they would try to tell me about what I'm doing wrong or anything like that so I just learned to accept and try to please what other women like and not just what I like. Okay, and you're very much your brand. Do you think it's important for someone to embody their brand and wear a lot of their own merchandise? Yes, I think it is very important to wear your own merchandise um, because you are your biggest marketing tool. You are your brand, especially if you have a strong social media following. Um, I think that it's you should be, you should eat, sleep, and live your right, your brand. Yes, I do believe that to the fullest. And there's a lot of online boutiques popping up and they seem to kind of be trying to copy Sorella. So what would you say it is that you're doing right that they're not? Honestly, I couldn't tell you what they're doing wrong or right because I don't pay attention to them. Um, I pay attention to the best, like Sophia from Nasty Gal and the owners of Topshop and the owners of Zara. So if they're following me and they're unsuccessful, it's probably because they're in it for all the wrong reasons or they're treating it as if it was a game mm -hmm. when it's definitely not a game. I take it very seriously. <laughs> definitely not definitely a not game. A game. <laughs> I'm not out here trying to hashtag behind the scenes right. or post <laughs> pictures on my phone. Like I did that already. Mm -hmm. And my goal is to be a boss. Um, Sophie, Sorella made I'm just a little under one million last year, yeah. while Sophia from Nasty Gal made 240 million. I have 239 million to go. Well, so you're so. on your way. It's I'm your, trying. There you so. go. So when you're shopping for Sorella, how do you know what will work and what won't? I know it's gonna work. Because <laughs> you're a boss. <laughs> because I'm a boss. And because I'm on fashion blogs all day. I'm on Tumblr all day. Anything fashion, I study fashion all day. And I also have my partner, Brittany Turner. And she has just a totally different, unique style than me. And my boyfriend always told me that two heads are always better than one. And it's true. Both of us together, we just make magic. It's, it's almost scary. But, and then that goes back to your last question. Do you think it's important to wear your own merchandise? Um, if it doesn't work, I can put it on, take a picture, and promote it on my personal Instagram and try to boost sales that way. And what advice do you have for anyone that wants to start their own online business? If you say you're gonna do something, do it, stick with it. Um, stay persistent, stay consistent. Don't ever give up because it's definitely gonna be a struggle and you're gonna wanna give up. But don't give up. If it's not for you, try something else. But <sighs> giving up is failure, so. We're not failures over here, we're bosses, so. Okay, last question because I'm gonna get a lot of emails if I don't ask, mm -hmm. what are your favorite beauty products? I actually brought them today for you. Yeah. I have my After Nine, this is actually my new cosmetic line. Right BB now. cream, it's my favorite right now. Really doing <clears throat> this right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, water base, goes on really smooth, full coverage. Full coverage BB creams are hard to come by. Yeah. Oh yeah. Really nice. 
It smells good. Yeah. And then next is my YSL Shock and Mascara. I love it. it. Makes my lashes look long and full, extended. I've been using it for like maybe three years, two years. I want to try this. I just discontinued my favorite mascara, so. And then my Carol's Daughter face cream because my face is really dry. So this oil is like, it's face butter. It's a hydrating face butter. Ooh, it works really good. Yeah. Put it on at night. Gangs, my yeah. face. Okay, so for any of our Moda Mob viewers who don't know, where can our fans find you? I'm on Instagram. My Instagram is Heather Sanders underscore. And my site is www.sosorella.com. So thank you for coming. Thank you. And if you guys want more fashion and beauty, go to modamob.com.